Hello and good morning. So today I have popped down to Bletchley Railway Station once again. Um, if you remember a few months ago, I did a video way back at the start of December regarding the temporary suspension of services of the Marston Vale line. Now, a few months have passed and there have been a few developments. So I thought I would come down and do a video and share that with you all. Um, and I want to look at a few key points. Obviously, I'm going to do a little recap for those that didn't see my video, just to give you, bring you up to date. Also, I want to discuss what has happened in the meantime, and also what is going to happen next, now that a few developments have been released. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a little look at that, and it all seems rather positive, I will start off by saying. Um, but we'll discuss that. So welcome once again, as we discuss the Marston Vale line, and what does the future hold? Interestingly, before we begin, um, it just so happens that in 10 minutes time, there is going to be a rail tour coming through here, which will be the Dorset Coast Statesman Locomotive Services Hall by two class 47s. So that's coming through on platform four. So I'm gonna head over onto platform three to get one of those wide angle shots. I mean, while I'm here, don't wanna miss it. And I thought, add it in, show you guys. Um, so yeah, I've got 10 minutes. I'm gonna hop over, we'll see it, and then we'll commence. So just bear with, but enjoy the rail tour. was pretty cool wasn't it i wasn't expecting the 47s to be at the same end i thought it was going to be like the traditional top and tail um galloway princess was the leading one um and to be fair i hadn't seen a 47 in intercity swallow livery so that was pretty cool um another one off the tick tick, tick list um but no park that and back to the task at hand um so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to give a very brief recap on the events that happened which ultimately led to the temporary suspension of services. So let's go through that. On the 1st of December 2022, Viva Rail, who were responsible for maintaining the Class 230s, entered into administration. This became quite a shock for those who used the upcycled D-Stock units on the Bletchley to Bedford Marston Vale line, who saw an immediate suspension of passenger services. It was also announced that a bus replacement service would be implemented until a solution was found to bring the suspension to an end. Okay, so now you're up to speed with the events that took place. Um, as I mentioned, it all happened at the start of December and we are now towards the tail end of April. So a lot has gone on. Um, and do you know what? It, it has been a real shame because the line has, I would say the line has suffered quite a bit really. Um, albeit they have put plans in place, which we will touch on. Um, I mean, to be fair, the, there have been some things that have been running along the Marston Vale line, but they are traditionally um, car train. Um, I saw a Class 56 move along here. Um, there's some shouting going on in the Smex place. Um, and there has also been a couple of 50s that have come along. So there is still some trains that do run along it. Um, it's just obviously not got the passenger service. Um, but no matter that, what I'm going to touch on now is what has happened in the time frame that we've had leading up to now. Um, and in short, quite a lot. So let's go through that and what has happened next. Since the suspension, passengers have had to cope with the bus service and extra dedicated services for students who attend the schools and colleges along the line. Meanwhile, Great Western Railway have purchased assets of Viva Rail, including battery operating equipment and some rolling stock, amongst other things with trials due to happen between West Ealing and Greenford. As well as that, Transport for Wales have also got an allocation of five Class 230 units, which entered service on the 3rd of April 2023 for the Borderlands line, which runs between Wrexham Central and Bidston. And I do like that they haven't been left or forgotten. So there we go. As you've just seen and heard, quite a bit has gone on. 
Um, and it is nice to see, you know, as I just mentioned, that the 230s are being utilized on the Transport for Wales and also with the testing on the GWR. Um, so it's not like they've been totally forgotten about and left. They've actually been utilized in some way, shape or form. It's just not in the conventional way that it was meant to have been planned, but circumstances, it happens. Um, however, like in relation to the buses, just to give some opinion on it, you know, buses have been handy. You know, they provided that bit of a stop gap in between. Um, but, you know, for, for long run and long term, buses won't, don't cut it. Um, they simply don't. They, you know, it's more, they are more of a short term solution. Um, well, I say short term solution, probably not as long as this has gone on, to be fair. Um, but if I may go back to, you know, like Transport for Wales, I do have a bit of a concern. And my concern is with that is, you know, even when they were running along here, as I mentioned last time, they are fairly unreliable, the 230s. You know, they do have quite a few problems. Um, like I said last time, there was a common phrase, you can't polish a turd. <laughs> but, you know, it, um, I, would, I would definitely say, if I was to put myself in a passenger's point of view from Transport for Wales network, at first, it's going to seem like a wonderful thing you know having something brand new it's going to be you know oh it's nice it's, you know have a good you can have a good impression on it but i do feel that once you know if they have you know the drop like we have dry heat wave occasionally or we have you know like the leaves fall on the line um they are gonna have their problems i fear and i feel like the positivity will quickly turn into a negative i hope it doesn't and i hope they actually have a good continuation of services but then again we will have to see what happens. You know, I, I can't predict that. No one can predict that. We're just going to have to see how it turns out. Um, and before I go on to the next subject, one other thing that I am going to quickly mention. So when I was last here doing the other Viva video, the footbridge connecting to the Black, uh, Bletchley High Level platform was only halfway done. And as you can see, minus the lamppost, it's fully connected. Um, that took a while to connect them, to be fair. I don't know why. The other half was sat... Um, on the ground for quite a while but they're connecting it and they're cracking on with it fairly well um i'm quite excited to do east west rail and i am actually going to do a video at some point in the next month or so uh, regarding east west rail give an update and just you know the, the past present future that kind of thing um but that's not for this video um but no like i said we're gonna now have a look at what is going to happen next for the marston Vale line because it's fairly interesting or you you may think it's more of the old, back in. Recently, news has been released of arrangements between London and North Western Railway and Northern to reintroduce Class 150s back to the line. They were used on the line previously until 2019. The 150 units are expected to arrive at Bletchley in June of this year, with driver training and senior conductor training taking place with services planned to resume in the autumn of this year, initially at peak times. A full timetable is due to be reinstated in January 2024. From then, hopefully some faith can be restored to passengers for a reliable passenger service, making their lives slightly easier once again. So there you have it. The Class 150s are going to be returning. Well, a few of them anyway. Um, and I think all in all, now that there is a plan in place to have them, the passenger services coming back, I think that puts it back into a more positive line. Um, albeit, like I mentioned, with certain training and etc., it's going to be about another four or five months before we see some trains, albeit peak times. Um, and then, as I mentioned as well, from sort of January next year, we'll go back to a full timetable. So the buses are going to continue for a, a while longer. Um, but I think something is better than nothing. Um, I and also, I want to address a point that some people made in my last video, which was why haven't West Midlands used other units that they've got spare on the line well the simple reason being is they're too long for the platform lengths that they've got so that's a that's that's obviously a straight no um but as you can see behind me as well there's a tamper so um things do still pop in and out here and there's also the peak forest Semex just there which will be going across the peak forest you know i love that place so that'll be coming in reverse along then back through along the Marston Vale. So that's like I said, things do run. Um, I'll catch a shot of that after this before we end off. Um, so yeah, something's better than nothing. 
and I think once they have that full timetable back I think I hope that things will quickly be forgotten uh, well not forgotten probably that's the wrong turn of phrase probably I think people will just move on and just go yep yeah, we've got our trains back we're, we're happy with that situation and of course you're gonna be so yeah a plan in place is better than nothing I suppose Okay then, so there you go. Saw the, the Peak Forest and the Tampa coming in along here. Um, I thought I'd add it in. Why not? It's, a, it's, it's, it's trains, it's a railway video. It's got to go in. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, I hope you found that informative and useful, um, especially if you are of the local areas that use the Marston Vale Line or just a general person that wants to keep up to date. So I hope I've done it in a good way. I mean, I didn't expect what I what I got out of the last video I think we've got we've got over 22,000 views and for me that's that's amazing so <laughs> I never thought I would get that but it was fantastic all the same so it obviously hit the right spot and I hope this one does as well um, so thank you very much for watching um, and we'll see what happens along here like I said I'll try and keep you as up to date as I can and as soon as these are back I'll be down here we're one of the first people down here to jump on them um, and document that so I've got to look forward to that as well and why not um, but yes thank you very very much and I will see you next time in another video